Hello my hovering friends. Today we will show you how to change and replace the battery in your hoverboard. Let's first start with the Smart Balance 8, also nicknamed the Tesla. Turn it on its back. Use a Phillips screwdriver to take out these two screws. This Tesla is different from other hoverboards because you do not need to fully remove the back cover to access the battery compartment. Use a flat head screwdriver to pop open the battery cover. Now remove the battery and disconnect the power cable. To put in a new battery, connect the power cable first, then slide in the battery. Make sure no cables are pinching. Slide the battery cover back on. Screw back the two screws and you're all done. Now let's take a look at our 6.5 inch hoverboards. This includes the Classic V1, Classic V2, 6.5 Pro and all other variations. Make sure it's turned off and flip it on its back. There are two sides, one with speaker holes, the other is just a solid surface. Open up the solid side by unscrewing all screws with the Phillips screwdriver. Make sure you remember which screw came from which hole as they may not be all the same. Then open the lid. Make sure you do not pull or disconnect this cable. Unscrew the four screws that holds the battery strap. Then remove the battery strap. Then you can remove and unplug the battery. There may be some wires in the way. If so, gently move them aside. From here, there will be two different types of batteries you may encounter. The wrap variety or the hard shell variety. Our hoverboards originally comes with wrapped ones. However, if you are putting in a replacement, it may be the hard shell type. If you are installing the wrapped battery, plug it in and position the battery as well as all other cables in the original position that they were. Screw the battery strap back in. For hard shell battery, you essentially do not need to replace the battery strap. Line up the holes on the shell with holes in your hoverboard's frame, plug it in and insert the screws back in. The shell acts as your old battery strap. Then close and re-screw the lid in place. Make sure you do not pinch any wires in this process. This is a little bit more difficult with the hard shell battery, but you can certainly do it with some patience. And you're all done. 